Today I'll be showing you guys how to get 1440p and 120 hertz on your LG C1. Now this process will be the exact same way you get 4K 120 hertz. You just kind of follow it, I guess, but the only difference is you change it to 4K. The reason I'm showing this off is because this is going to be pretty difficult for some people. I had to actually do this three times, believe it or not. It did not work buttery smooth the first time. It literally just refused to work the first three times and it got to a point where I didn't even believe that the feature worked on this TV because it literally gave me that hard of a time. So you may have to do this a couple of times for your TV to just, I don't know, get it together and snap and say, yeah, it works. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Maybe this makes your life easier and you don't have to do it three times. So you wanna hit the home button, go to your dashboard, your home dashboard. In the home dashboard at the very top, you wanna to go to where you see these three dots. Click the three dots click edit and then click edit input then you're going to go down to where your device is you can do this in one of two ways i prefer the pc way for this because this is the way that worked the fastest though it comes at the expense of locking out basically all of your core settings so what you do is you click on the pc icon at the bottom it's not going to be there by default mine's going to say hdmi 2 so what i had to do what everybody has to do is don't don't click on HDMI. If you click on HDMI, it's just going to ask you to rename it. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is just go over to the HDMI symbol, go all the way down to your PC icon at the bottom, select it, and then you go over to save. You save that. You're done. Then you go over to your input and you just select it to get it back. And now here we are. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. A couple things to note. Despite what rtings.com says, there is not native support for 120 hertz at 1440p. You don't just plug in your PC and set everything correctly and it work. That's not how this happens. You have to go and create a custom uh, resolution and you literally go down into customize. I've already done it here, but you have to go in and create a custom resolution by clicking the bottom custom resolution and then 2560 by 1440 is what you want for horizontal pixels, vertical lines, 1440p. You, you guys see it here. And then you want to go to your refresh rate, and you're going to change that to 120 hertz. And that's literally all you have to do. You hit test. Nine times out of ten, your image is going to drop out and not come back, and you're going to have to restart your computer a couple of times if it doesn't work correctly. That's the route I had to take before this actually ended up working for me. So then at the bottom, there's some other important information that you do have to kind of fill in here. The main one being uh, you have 32-bit set. It has to be 8-bit color. You have to be in RGB, and you have to have full dynamic range because this is PC, right? And because it's PC, you're basically doing everything you need to do to set it up to the PC way of reading data. That's as easy as I'll say without going into all the chroma sampling science and how you want to read the pixels. Now, there are some people that recommend you go to, uh, you know, the four four, uh, the 420 at the bottom. But as you see, I don't have the option for 420 at all, and it still works. So you don't have to set it to 420. I just set it to full and RGB, and I'm good to go. That's what I did. And then you go to the top here. You go 120 hertz, as you guys see. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that. 120 hertz at the top for my custom resolution with these settings. And you're going to see it in real time. We're going to click on it. And then we're going to go and click apply. And you're going to see it works. Hold on. Waiting for it. Bam. Click on it. The screen comes back. Glitches a little bit, but it's fine. And then bam. Now we have our 1440p at 120 hertz. And that is how you actually get it operable. And as you guys see, we're not in 420. We're in RGB. We're in uh, full for the dynamic range output. You guys are seeing everything right here. So you don't have to do it the way that some people are saying that you do. Now, as kind of like a bonus for this video, I'll try another method. I'll try using game mode. And I'll try to see if I can't just get it to work with the, with the game mode allocation as well. So... We're going to open up our home. We're going to go to the home dashboard. We're going to go at the top here and we're going to select this. We're going to click edit. 
we're going to click edit inputs and then we're going to go down to pc and we're going to change that to the game console because i want to see if it works with the game console variation because that would give us our settings unlocked we select that bam we already still have 120 hertz selected as you guys clearly see which is really good but what I want to do, I want to go the extra mile. So I'm going to put it back in the 60 hertz. And I'm going to do the toggle back to see if it takes. That's the most important thing to find out at this stage. Okay, we click yes. Okay, so now we're back at 60 hertz. Right? And as you guys see, there's no apply at the bottom. So we're back in 60 hertz. It's fully operational. Then we're going to go to the top again. We're going to select... Our 120 hertz hold on there we go I'm trying to do this one-handed so it's a pain in the ass because I miss sometimes with my clicks as you guys see I just did it again there all right 120 Hertz we got it there okay then we're gonna click apply it should just drop out come back in you save your changes and BAM so it does work as well with the game mode way of doing it so there are some people that Honestly, we'll try to tell you that it only works one way. You have to do it their way. The big things that you want to keep in mind when you're doing settings like these is you just want to make sure you set it to RGB and full. That's really the big thing here. The TV usually will set that automatically for you and, and they're at their level, but the PC has to be manually set to full and RGB. Uh, those are the two things that will, will hold you back if you're not doing it that way. Um, and then you go into uh, your, I'm going to show you here, just to show you that, again, it, it works either way. You don't have to lose anything. As you guys see, it is set up as a game console. So I, I don't really have anything to kind of hide or trick you guys. But the benefit of doing it this way over the other way is that if you open up your settings, you guys can go into Game Optimizer and you guys can see we can have game optimizer set up then we have all that on game stabilizer and whatnot and what we're going to do it's very important that we keep an eye on this prevent input lag thing because what we're really going to do is now we're going to set up g-sync okay so to set up g-sync we're going to go on over to g-sync right here set up g-sync it's already enabled for full screen and it kind of just looks like it's already set up so there's not really much that i have to do like all the boxes are already checked and that happened when i put it in 120 hertz mode with uh a lot of a lot of the stuff is automatic at that point so i mean it's enabled for full screen mode uh you can enable it for full screen and windowed mode you know what i mean you can just hit apply so that way you have it either way so we'll do that we'll hit apply and it it's done there's not really much to do there but you guys see that g-sync is selected now the nice thing about that is again opening up your settings and you can just go the extra mile here by going into general game optimizer and then you go down to the prevent input delay option which is your input lag you click on that and you click on boost. Once you click on boost, that is the highest form of free sync or G sync you could possibly pull out of this TV. Obviously, we're not using free sync, right? Because we have that off, but I'm telling you right now, it's incredible. We have those options available to us. It's basically like the difference between G sync premium and like a G sync premium pro, if, if you will. It prioritizes input lag incredibly well. I've tried it in the 60 hertz modes, which you really don't need it for that. But I'm going to try it in uh, this mode as well. But again, this is just a, a tutorial of sorts to show you how to set up 1440p specifically at 120 hertz on the LG C1. And I imagine this would work for the C10 as well because they are very, 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 very similar. So I wanted to show this off because I was struggling a lot with it and it did not work the first time one time or two times that I did it okay so this is like the third attempt that I had this work on me uh work for me so even if you do everything right you you adhere to the bandwidth science of HDMI 2.0 there is a chance it still won't work and I need to very clearly vocalize that if it doesn't work just try and try again that's just how it works sometimes there are handshaking issues I don't know maybe I got unlucky with my panel 
because this is the second handshaking issue of sorts that I've had with the, the PC side of things, but it does work. So I wanted to put this information out there. Maybe it helps you, maybe it doesn't. If it does, smack a like on this video, subscribe, join the journey, and thanks so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.